Hello everyone, this is Maureen and welcome to My Crochet Story, where I share with you two things that I love, teaching and crochet. Today is Monday, June the 19th, and I'm here to show you that I am finally finished with pattern three of the Sholock Mosaic Blanket. Now, I'm going to insert a picture here for you to look at so that you can see what it looks like. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm all the way through pattern three, and I want you to see, you know, with it laid out what it looks like, and then I'll pick it up out of my lap here in a few minutes, and we can kind of talk about um, what I liked, where I went wrong, and how did I fix it. So, here's the picture. So, here she is in living color. Let me pull her around here so you can see her. There she is. Look at that. Now, I folded it in such a way so that you could see the pattern um, that replicates across the blanket. So there is the big tree that we started with and the little trees in the background. And then we have a little border that separates the next section. And so this here was pattern three. Now I did all right until I got up about right, let me get my hands to move correctly. Which hand move? There I go. See how there is this, these two little brown stitches right here, the darker brown. Well, somehow I got to right here before those two stitches started out. And then I don't know what happened. I mean, I honestly don't. The only thing I can figure out is that um, I was working on this one evening while I was visiting my brother-in-law and his family. And I think my yakking and my crocheting caused me to get off because folks, I was down to like the last three rows and I was like, wait a minute, I'm using a prism color where it should be the cottonwood and that wasn't right. And besides that, I noticed that I was not getting this very tip top here. These two brown stitches are right, really, it's a uh, double crochet post, a uh, double crochet, excuse me there. I was thinking, I'm not getting that. Where's the top of my tree? So I had to rip out three rows and go back, make sure I was starting on the correct row with the correct yarn, and then I was able to finish it out. But guys, I tell you what, it was such a big goof up that I almost just put it away in the bag and said, I'll come back to you later. But I knew if I did that, that that later would become much, much, much later. And I didn't want to do that. So, as I said, here she is in all of her glory so far. Now, the next section that I will be working on is really a very pretty, simple section. Um, there it is. And I'll show you on the blanket what it looks like in just a moment. Let me get over here. There you go. I don't know if you can see it real well, but it is this little pattern right here that's getting ready to separate this group of trees here from this um, what I'm going to call a zigzag section, I guess you could say. But this is where I will be working next. And I'm going to allow myself two weeks because there are 18 rows to that one. And um, that should give me plenty enough time to get nine rows done in a week. If not, then I may just have to go back to three weeks and only do... Um, six rows at a time, but I really hope not to have to do that because the stitch count each time, I mean, when you look at those, um, the marking across there or the written part across there, it's lots of mu multiples like fours and threes and ones and twos and fours and threes. And so, you know, you should be able to whip through those rows pretty quickly. So I'm really hoping that pattern four, I can get done, like I said, in two weeks, allowing for nine rows each time. So that's where I'm at on my show lock. Um, if you've stayed with me this long and you like what you see, please be sure to leave your little thumbprint. And if you're new to my channel, 
please take a moment to look at all the other content I've uploaded. Maybe just look at the videos that pertain to my show lock and see how I started out, how I've progressed, and my little comments along the way because um, many folks know that I have struggled a little bit working, uh, flipping back and forth between the three weight yarn and the four weight yarn. But anyway, if you enjoy that kind of content and like anything else that you see on there, please be sure and hit that subscribe button down there in the corner and then look for the bell with little hugs on the side that lets you know every time I upload content. So as always, thank you so much for being here with me. I greatly appreciate your time. And as always, be the light out there in the darkness for someone today because you never know could be your light that they are waiting to see. I love you all. Bye.